All right, this is a video about using modules in Python. And I'm going to start by opening up my Raptor because you don't have to think about these problems twice. And the whole point of doing Raptor and Python is you just have to use you just have to think about the problem and use logic one time, and then you just need to translate the code between the different languages. And this is why once you learn the concepts of computer programming, um, you can use you can program in any language. You just have to figure out what's different about them, but the logic will always be the same. This will also save you some work. I'm just cutting and pasting uh, between uh, Raptor and Python. Notice you can't right click to paste like you might be used to in some programs, but you can use the keyboard shortcuts, uh, Control C to copy and Control V to paste, or you can use the edit menu within Python to paste. So the input symbol, we know we're going to use the keyword input. And anywhere we had an output symbol, we're going to use the keyword print. And just to make it look a little bit nicer in code, I'm going to break that long line up into two separate lines of code. Uh, it's real important to focus on readability with your code. And when all the code is within one nice uh, view, it's easier to debug and easier to, to make sense. Now again, working smarter, not harder, I'm going to copy and paste code rather than retyping it. This is very handy, especially for people who aren't real fast at typing. You just have to be real careful that you change all the things that you need to change. Copying and pasting is also good because if you know a line works, when you copy and paste it, it should still work, as long as the changes you make are okay. Okay, so again, when we did the Raptor, we started out doing it in a non-modular way, and then we turned it into modular. So I'm going to do the same thing with Python. Uh, but I've got a syntax error here. It looks like it, I'm missing a double quote. You see how the IDE took me directly to the spot that had the syntax error. Uh, and now I have another error. Right, the program ran, but then it encountered an error. It says, con cannot concatenate str and int. Right, this is a very important error to understand. You might see it a lot. And I want you to really understand what it means. Because if you can understand what it means, uh, it will help you. What it's trying to do, it's saying that this plus symbol has a number on one side of it, and it has a text or a string on the other side of it. And if there's a string on both sides, the plus sign knows to concatenate or just glue them together, kind of. And when it's a number, it knows to add the number. But when it has a string on one side and a number on the other side, it doesn't know what to do. So there's a couple ways around that, and one of them is to do what I just did, which is to put str and then the number in parentheses. So it knows to treat the number like a string, and then the plus sign will know to concatenate it. Okay, so uh, now what we did next in, in Raptor is, notice we had all of our code within main. You might not have noticed that there was a tab up there called main. So we can do the same thing in Python. We can create a module called main. And you'll see that in a lot of the sample programs. And the exact syntax for creating a module is what you see here, def, and then the module name, then parentheses, and then a, sem or a colon. And then all the code that's within the module has to be indented one time. And notice that compiled and it ran just fine, but it didn't actually do anything. That's because we just defined a module. We didn't actually call the module. All right, defining a module just says, okay, computer, here's some lines of code, and they have this name. We just made uh, six or five lines of code, and we named those lines of code main. But in order to actually run them, we need to have a function call or a module call. We have the call symbol within Raptor. And we're going to have a line of code in Python that is the call. So once we add that call, you see the program runs just fine. So this kind of is a modular program. We've made a, a module called main, but that's really not the point of modules. Remember, modules are good for reusability, um, breaking the problem up into logical subcomponents. So um, just to add another module that you know, may or may not be useful. Let's try something simple and make a module to print the introduction. 
So I'm going to call this um, print intro, and I'm going to use the correct syntax with the parentheses and a colon. And I'm going to cut and paste that line. Remember, it has to be indented one time. And notice how the call was not indented. So the first line that's not indented is the first line that's not part of the module. So when this program actually runs, the first line of code that's really going to be run is the line that just says main. And that's going to cause program execution to go back up to def main, where main the main module is defined. Now remember, I need to have a call to the print intro module. So I'm going to put that in main. So really, this should do the same thing. Uh-oh, I've got an error, though. Print intro is not defined. Now the reason is print intro line number two appears before the definition, which is down here. So when the computer got to that call, it didn't know what print intro was because it hadn't been defined yet. The computer is going to read this program from the top, and when it sees a definition, it's just going to kind of register it uh, with the system, and that way it'll know when it gets to a call where to go. Right? The way it had been before, it got to a call, and they didn't know where to go because it hadn't seen the definition yet. So definitions always have to be above the calls. All right, but that one worked just fine as soon as we made that fix. Let's try another one. Let's try to make calculate area the way we did in Raptor. Because this is a more realistic thing you would do with a module is to move the calculation up into a module. That way you don't have to worry about the details of how it's done. In this case, it was just one line of a calculation so it wasn't that hard to do, but you could see how a calculation might be several lines of code, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it being in your uh, junking up your main module. You can just say, hey, calculate area, and then come back, and we'll finish. Now, unlike uh, Raptor, I'm moving the print, I'm moving the output statement into the calculate area, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But let's just make sure this runs. Uh-oh. Right, this is going to be related to why I did that. It says global name side one is not defined. All right, remember in Raptor, I said that it doesn't uh, adhere to rules of scope, but you read about scope in the book. Side one is being defined in main. That's where that variable has been created. And then we're trying to use it in the module calculate area. You can't do that calculate area doesn't have access to side one. It doesn't know what it is. So we need to pass side one as an argument to the module. And that goes inside parentheses. And then it gets received as a parameter. And we'll be revisiting these terms later, but um, just re remember you have to send it in parentheses and then you have to receive it in the parentheses. So side one in the call uh, then goes to the side one in the definition. And the again, one of the benefits of modules is that they're reusable. So we could uh, call calculate area again. What if we wanted to use this uh, module in another program that instead of just calculating the area of two sides of a rectangle, what if we wanted to get the area of a room or something? So we could use two different variables, length and width, and we'll change the prompt slightly to enter the length of the room, and we'll enter the width of the room, and then we can actually call the calculate area module again and pass it length and width. Now we're not going to change what's inside the parentheses in the definition, we're just going to change what's in the parentheses in the call because what happens when it gets up to the definition line, whatever is in length and width is going to get copied into whatever is in the parentheses in the definition. So whatever was in length will go into side one. So you can see it can be and really should be a completely different variable name. They were the same the first time I did this but they, they can be and should be different because you never know how your program might use the module. It could be a complete standalone thing. So that's fine to do it the way I've done it here. Now I am leaving uh, the area, uh, the output line in the module. 
And I'll show you momentarily what happens if we try to move that out. Think about what's going to happen. Just like before, we got the message that area or that side one was not defined because calculate area tried to use it when area had been created in main. If we try to output the area in main, it's not going to have access to it because area is getting created in the calculate area module. You might have to listen to this a couple times, pause it, go back again. See here it says global name area is not defined. And I don't want you to worry about that for today. That's going to be another chapter where, we'll, where we will um, take care of solving this problem.